Well then, Bunny. Yes. It is time once again for us to go against the grain. Ooh, somebody's computer's starting. <coughs> yes, Jeannie is booting. <coughs> no, no, Maxwell, there is no special guest right now. You get that special guest out of here. I'm starting a bit. <laughs> it is time once again for us to go against the grain, take the road less traveled, and piss off strangers on the internet with yet another rage-inflicting installment of Steve's Unpopular Opinions. Okay. And this We haven't had one of these in a really long time. I I know. And this week, Bunny, this week may very well be one of the, if not the, top unpopular opinion of all time. Oh, okay. The single most unpopular opinion we have ever discussed. I cannot stress enough how big this is going to be. Riots, Bunny! Riots! Riots. We'll be breaking out all over this nation, like acne on a teenager's face or hair on a Latina's back. (laughs) Shout out to Auntie Lauren. Society may crumble, houses may burn, life will be forever split into two different time periods, the time before Steve's Unpopular Opinions and the time after Steve's Unpopular Opinions. In fact, I don't even know if I should mention this. (laughs) Oh, do it. Because once I drop this bombshell, guys, media circus. Media circus, yeah. You think that's just going to be a media circus? We need a circus. We have a circus. <laughs> but I am a professional. I have monkeys. I need a circus. Okay, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Anyway, I'm a professional. We are professionals. So let's just yes. do this, okay? Okay. Let's do this. Okay? Okay? All right. Okay. Dramatic sigh. Dramatic sigh. So there's a great list of movies coming out in 2018 because it's important to note that we're in the beginning of 2018. We've got some really good movies that are coming out this year. Big movies that we have to look forward to, including but not limited to Incredibles 2. Uh Uh-huh. Uh, Pacific Rim Uprising, which I wasn't excited about, but the previews do look really, really good, and I, I really like that world. Maxwell, when he was younger, he would ask to watch the robot movie. Yeah. And he was like, Daddy, I watch robot movie? And I'd have to put on Pacific Rim, and we would watch it together. It was adorable. There's a big budget Venom movie coming out this year. Oh, f- Really? Commercial. Yeah, there's a preview for it, but people got pissed at the preview because they don't show Venom. Yeah. They show like a symbiote moving around in like a jar, but they don't show Venom. But it, it, like the movie's coming out in like November. They're not going to show Venom now. That's that's exactly when I stopped collecting comic books. Really? I love Right Venom. there. Right there. Like my last issue of Amazing Spider-Man. He comes into his apartment, he takes off he takes off the black outfit and he, he throws it over a chair. Uh and and he kind of winds up the story with, you know, some little what I've learned today. Uh and in the background the suit is twitching. Yeah. That was during that period in time, I think, when like uh in order to make more money off of the comic book, suddenly everything became like a collector's item. Yes. Oh, get your polybagged foil edition hologram special limited edition version of issue 437 of Cable. <laughs> yes. Oh, this one's only twelve ninety nine. Like, no, screw you. Uh, So Venom movie, excited about Venom. Wes Anderson's new stop motion animated film, Isle of Dogs, which looks amazing. Yeah. Very excited about that. His last stop motion animated movie, uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox, is amazing. I I have not seen that. I heard about it. It's really good. It's really, really good. Yeah. It's weird because uh, 
a, a song from Disney's Robin Hood plays in the movie, which is weird because this is not a Disney movie. Yeah. But it's odd. It's like if the Three Caballeros was in Get Out. <laughs> it's like, why is why is the Three Caballeros playing in Get Out? This isn't even a Disney film. It's, it's weird. Uh, Ready Player One, which I have reservations about. Yeah, I'm a little leery by that name right off the bat. I'm I'm weary about it only because I was a big fan of the book. The book references everything. Yeah. But, but the movie is being directed by Steven Spielberg. And what that says to me is. Okay. He, he's going to sanitize it. Yeah. The Emerald's still here. Okay. No, the thing is that now it's going to be heavy on Steven Spielberg references. Yeah. One of my favorite parts of the book was when they are going to uh, attack the castle and all of the main characters decide to get a different famous giant robot. Okay. And so one of the characters has the robot from uh, the, the old cartoon Gigantor. Yeah. I love Gigantor and, when I was a kid. Yeah. And then, and then another character has uh, the, the robot from that animated movie, uh, uh, Steven Spielberg directed it. Iron Giant, yeah, the Iron Giant, and and there's all these different robots. Uh, oh, uh, the robot from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The Iron Giant and, will make you cry, honey. It, it would. And and then I think one of them has has one of the robots from Pacific Rim. But then our character, our our uh, our hero, gets Mecha Godzilla. Ah. And it was like the coolest scene in the world. Oh, 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 one of the, no, no. Uh, one of the characters has Mecha Godzilla, but what he gets is a Leopardon, the Japanese, the Japanese robot that Japanese Spider-Man uses. Oh. And I didn't even, I wasn't even aware of Japanese Spider-Man until this book. And I went and searched out the Japanese Spider-Man TV show, which is so weird. <laughs> but, now Steven Spielberg's directing it, so of course the only robot you see, the only robot you see is the Iron Giant. Yeah, and the Iron Giant's all over the previews, and it's like, wait, is the entire movie going to be like this? I was excited about the book because the book references everything, but something tells me that yeah, I'm not going to be seeing my favorite scenes in this movie. I'm not going to see Monty Python and the Holy Grail being an important part about saving humanity <laughs> no, i'm not going to see a bunch of godzilla references i'm not going to be seeing people quote matthew broderick movies and 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 that's really like when it's kind of kind of like what's the point what are you trying to do here exactly with this fucking movie because i would imagine that the parts that you love would basically be the parts of that any of the fan of the book would would pick Right? Yeah. You know, that's fair. If you're a fan of the book, these are the parts that you tend to like. Yeah. So if you cut all that out, you're not making the movie for the fans at all. Yeah. I feel I feel that a lot of the references will be put aside because they can't get them and they'll just pick happy, easy references and, and heavy on Spielberg references. Because Spielberg's directing it, so there's gonna be a bunch of Spielberg references and it's just Yes, Maxwell. In the middle of a in the middle of a really good thing going here. Yes, Maxwell, what do you need? No, no special guest right now. I'm in the middle of a, of Steve's unpopular. I haven't even gotten to my unpopular opinion yet. Uh, Super Troopers Two is coming out this year. Yeah, I'm shooting for that. My wife eventually had to force me to watch the first Super Troopers, and it's pretty damn funny. Yeah. Um. It's it's. Yeah. I I just wasn't a fan of Reno Nine One One. You know, so oh, I so big, I, I I was a big fan of Reno nine one one, but then they made a Reno nine one one movie, and that sucked ass, and I hated that. Yeah, but I found the Super Troopers movie to be the film that I would have wanted Reno nine one one to do uh -huh. instead of instead of the shitty movie they did do. <laughs> So uh, Avengers Infinity Wars, which is now coming out one week early. They just bumped the release date ahead. That's coming out this year? 
Yeah. It, well, Ooh. well, I, they split the last two Avengers movies in half. So Avengers Infinity War is coming out this summer. And then next summer, the next Avengers movie, which doesn't have a title yet, is coming out. So it's kind of two parts. But part one is coming out uh, next month now because it's been it's been moved up a week. Next month. Wow. OK. Uh, Deadpool 2 is coming out. Very excited about that. Oceans 8, which looks really good. Oceans and, eight? They're going backwards, man. They can't do that shit. No, this is all women. Okay. And uh it looks really, really good. It's got like Sandra Bullock and uh, uh a bunch of other females. It looks really good. It looks it I saw the preview recently and it looks really funny. <laughs> uh uh just blanking out. I wasn't expecting to talk about Ocean's Eight. <laughs> But that sounds just that casting right off the bat sounds kind of like pin the Botox on the has been, you know. Uh, Anne Hathaway plays herself. That's the person they're trying to rob. Ah, okay. Uh, what's her name? Uh, from uh, that was in all those uh Tim Burton movies, and she was in uh Harry Potter, and then they kicked her out. Oh. Helen of Helen Bonham McCart. Yeah, yeah, she's one of the eight. Uh-huh. And uh uh that foreign woman who was in the Mindy project, she was on the office. Didn't watch either of those. Yeah, she's in it. I don't remember any of the other ones, but they're all big names. Yeah. Uh, uh Solo, the Han Solo film. Uh, which I will go to the theaters and watch maybe like five times only because Donald Glover, a.k.a. Childish Gambino, is playing uh, Lando Calrissian, and I'm super excited about that. Yes. Ant-Man and the Wasp. I really liked that that Ant-Man movie. I really liked that Ant-Man movie. Ant-Man was fun. Yeah, and I'm feeling that people forgot about that, but it's a damn good movie. Yeah, and they they did. Uh, You know, Ant Man is not important. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. And and sometimes I could use a good dose of not important. Yeah. And uh, at the end of the year, let's not forget this: a Spider Man animated movie featuring Miles Morales. Ah, oh. going to be huge, and I'm very excited about that. And okay. a big one coming out this year: a big movie coming out this year: Wreck It Ralph Two. Ralph breaks the internet. <laughs> I'm very excited about this Wreck-It Ralph 2 from Disney. I loved the first Wreck-It Ralph. There's a personal connection there for me. Yeah. My store in California, well I was I was there uh, right before I transferred. Uh, the my store in California was looking to get rid of its highest paid employees without firing anyone. Yeah. Like they weren't allowed to fire people, but they also wanted to get rid of people cuz the hours were so bad. So, uh they they immediately started writing up and just trashing all of their highest paid employees and i was repeatedly attacked oftentimes for no reason i felt hated and despised yes. but wreck it ralph moved me specifically the end there's one scene where where ralph uh is uh the end the last scene in the movie he's talking about how the girl that he befriended is is uh you know, this young little girl that she, he became friends with. Now, he I, said I, thought that, it, I, I thought it was when Wreck-It Ralph had to shoot his dog. No, he's the last, like the last line in the movie, he says, if that little girl likes me, then how bad can I possibly be? Yeah. And that line really meant a lot to me because it's like, okay, well, work hates me and managers are, are writing me up for like the stupidest things. My glasses broke at work and I got written up because I wasn't carrying a second pair of glasses on me at all times. Oh. Glasses keeps a second pair of glasses in case the first one breaks, you know? <laughs> yeah. Not my it's an extenuating freaking circumstance so like i like every what did they hire burgess meredith 
so so people hated me at work, but I just kept thinking like if my kids like me and if the kids who I do story time for, if they like me, then I can't be as bad as these freaking people in the store think I am. Yeah. So now there's a second one, Wreck It Ralph 2, where old Mr. Litwack, who owns the arcade, he finally gets the internet and he gets one of those. Hey, the preview just came out. He gets one of those old neon Apple iMacs that white people in Brooklyn are now turning into fish tanks. Yeah. <laughs> no, you remember those the, computers? The, they, yeah, the, the really colorful ones. Yeah, and they were like as deep as a television. Yeah, and it was completely so the, one solid unit. Yeah, yeah. So he gets one of those old neon Apple iMacs. So Ralph and his BFF, uh, Vanellope Von Schweetz, they take a trip into the internet, right? Uh So the preview is like the number one video on YouTube right now, and people are going nuts, and it looks hilarious, and I'm seeing memes for it. So uh, I saw the preview. I was so super excited. Most people are just geeking out over this. Yeah. Well, 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 I'm geeking out over this. I think a, a lot more people are geeking out over The Incredibles too. But f- to me, is Wreck that happening? Ralph, yeah, that's happening this year. There's previews for it. It looks really, really good. You know what it looks like? It looks like a superhero remake of Mr. Mom. Okay. Because uh, because uh, superheroes are still illegal, but here comes this big billionaire, and this big billionaire goes to Mister Incredible, and and he says, hey, "I I have a problem, and I need I need the most important, the most powerful superhero of all time. So, Mister Incredible, I need you to get me Elastigirl." <laughs> so Elastigirl is like. Hurts. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go save the world, honey. Bye. And the dad who was used to being the most powerful superhero on earth is like, okay, I'll just stay at home and take care of the kids. So he's so basically it's just Mr. Mom with in the superhero universe. Yeah. So I'm excited about that because Mr. Mom was an amazing movie. Maxwell, get off the door, get off the door, get off the door. But here's the thing. Here's yeah. the thing. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Yeah. Here's yeah. the unpopular yeah. opinion. I saw the preview for Wreck It Ralph 2. Ralph breaks the internet. Saw it a number of times. I showed all the kids. I showed it to Maxwell. I showed it to Bella. I showed it to Emerald. I showed it to Natasha. And uh, Ralph and Vanellope are traveling the internet. Uh-huh. It, it looked familiar <laughs> like something we might have seen very recently call me crazy maybe it's because uh we recently saw a specific movie uh-huh and uh i i watched it a couple of times and uh wrote down a bunch of notes about it went into great deal about this film but call me crazy i might be the only person on the planet saying this <laughs> okay but the internet's going nuts over Wreck It Ralph 2, and I'm like, I've already seen this. Uh-huh. Oh, look, they're traveling from YouTube to eBay. Oh, look, they're playing games on the internet. I have seen this before! <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. And I'm, all those people hated it. I'm sorry, but Wreck It Ralph 2 just looks like a bigger budget emoji movie. It's a better yeah. emoji movie. That's what it I'm sounds sorry. like. That's all that's all this is. That's all this is. The emoji movie did it first. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's funny. I, I I was thinking though after talking about the emoji movie uh I think what we should do going forward is if people start smack talking smack on the internet, you know, like about the emoji movie that's the worst movie in the world and things like that, we do a Pope on Film Challenge. Ooh. Okay, you think the emoji movie is the worst movie ever made? Okay. Let's see you get through this one. <laughs> So 
and them. send them begotten. <laughs> uh, <coughs> but yeah, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm still going to watch Wrecked Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, but uh, maybe uh, everyone on the internet and all of these Disney fanboys and fangirls and fan people uh-huh. should just calm their ass down because this film already came out. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm sorry, but when history has to judge which internet movie is the best, Uh I think that a few extra points has to go to whichever one of these films more prominently features pen, pineapple, apple, pen. (laughs) I'm sorry, but advantage emoji movie. Yeah. Because I'm a big Pico Taro fan. That's the guy's name. Is that his name? Yeah. Pico Taro. Taro P. 